Good morning, guys. Good morning. How y'all doing today, man? Hope y'all having a good day. Good evening when you fin when you when you watching this. Hope y'all had a good day and, and having a good day, man. Thank y'all for tuning in. And uh, yeah, I'm a, what I have today is a Hummer H2, be exact. And he's having light problems. Um, yeah, he's having headlight headlight problems too. Turn signal problems. You know everything that's dealing with these with, with the front of the truck, man. I mean, I'm trying to yeah. I'm trying to move this so y'all can see these headlights and stuff on here. Ugh. Ugh. Man. Oh, that fell off. Yeah. Got those. Got those. And those right there. Yep. Yeah. Let me flick these lights on so y'all can see what's going on. Ugh. Y'all can see what's going on. Of course, you got the aftermarket side markers. That light not on. Those on. Those on. You got a half of one of those. Yep. So, and that, that light right there be, be intermittent. It come on and go off when it feel like it. Let me see if I can show y'all. Oh, I can't get up under there with my hand. But, yeah, I got a... I gotta go ahead and redo all this. Yeah, man, y'all should see this wiring job under here. Oh, it latched. Man, that's a heavy hood. Yeah, that's a heavy hood, man. Oh, man. Yeah, good. All right, guys, this is what we got, man. Y'all see this? This is unbelievable, bro. This wiring job is horrible, man. Yeah, so we're going to get in here. Yeah, the, the other side look, look just as worse, man. Look just as worse over there. Yeah, yeah, look just as worse over there. So we're going to clean all this up, take care of it for him, man, so we ain't have no more problems in the future. And, um, yep. Yeah. so if you if you're getting these accessories, aftermarket parts for your truck, car, RV, motorcycle, ski dudes, whatever, man, make sure that your, your guy that you're going to. It's just not doing it just to be doing it, you know. So he said, yeah, I can do it, but do you do it? <laughs> you know, anybody can hook up wires and, you know, and, and, yeah, anybody can do that, man. But do they do it so you don't have problems in the in the, in the future? Uh, and what I'm getting at is go to a certified somebody that's doing it, you know, just been doing it for, you know, for a long period of time. And. So you don't have no problems, man. So he's going to get you in and out. And when he come back to you, it's going to be for something else, not for something that he did in the past. All right? So, all right, guys, let me go ahead and break this down, man, and get to it. I'll see y'all back here in a few minutes. All right, later. Alright guys, I'm back man. I had to show y'all this. This is what I'm talking about, bro. Exactly what I'm talking about. See this? This line. This line was just here. It wasn't even connected to nothing. And yeah, that power. That power. Where's that going? I, I still gotta cut all these cut all this tape off and see what this doing, man. Yeah, they had this this ground connected to that, but it's not going to anything. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to anything. See this ground right here? 
See that ground? Yeah, it's not going to nothing. Including that red wire, too. Yeah, it don't make sense, man. Yeah, it don't make sense. And people wonder why things don't work right, man. Get you a technician that know what they doing, bro. Get you a technician that know what they doing. So you don't have to go through these problems, these simple problems, man. Yeah, so the the, the, the factories, the manufacturers sell this stuff, bro. It's just plug and play. That's all you need to do, plug and play. That's it. Look at that. Plug and play. Plug and play, man. All that extra stuff, <laughs> you don't need to do all that, man. You just got to have knowledge of your job. So, all right, man, I ain't saying that to, to be, be down in people or whatever, but just be, you know, just have knowledge of what you're doing, man, so you don't be putting these these innocent customers, you know, through a lot of stuff, bro. It, it's, it's not worth it for you and them. All right, so let me get back to it, man. I just had to share that with y'all. All right, peace. Okay, guys, I didn't. I broke these wires down, man, and got to the almost the root of the of the beginning. Yeah, see that? Yeah, he just wrap wires, man. Y'all see the corrosion on there? Yeah, the wires just wrap. Stuff just popping off. You know, he uh, spliced in the stuff, man. The ground they go one splice. Wait, wait, they go one splice. They go another splice. They go another splice. You know, he just splicing all over the place, man. And, yeah, I know there's no solder or nothing in there. So, yeah, I'm going I'm to just probably just cut that off. I'm not going to try to cut that test of tape off. You know, this this tape, this particular tape, not even supposed to be outside. This is the inside tape. Yeah, that's the inside test of tape, man. All on the floor. That's supposed to be on the inside. This tape is not waterproof, weatherproof. You know, he, he is the, this, this is not the right application for this job. So, all right, man, I'm finna go on here. I ain't finna keep going over this and bashing, you know, this installer. So, I'm gonna just go ahead and clean this up. I'm gonna show y'all what it looked like after I'm done. All right, peace. A few moments later. All right, guys. All right, guys. Man, went on and clean this, clean this mess up. And um, yeah, I got everything working. Had to put a extra capacitor on the turning signals because I, I don't know. One came with this light because there's another one over there plugged into it, but it's not working. Don't know what it's for. Uh, even tried to splice into it into the parking light, the vehicle parking light. I mean, the turn signals. I'm sorry. And it was it was uh shorting the circuit out. You know, it was turning the light off every time I hooked the capacitor up, their capacitor, uh, it would short circuit the circuit. So I got my own capacitor, put it in the sit in the line, and it works. But this is what it's looking like now, guys. That's a big difference. Yeah, that's the capacitor I had to do the new capacitor. Yeah, that one there. This is the one that came with it. See, it just plugged right in. Just plugged right in. But I don't know what that's for. And, as y'all can see, this hole right here. That hole was for the old uh, turn signal. The old turn signal uh, connector. Which is supposed to went back in there. And they took it out and just left it blank hole and left all that circuit board in there exposed to the weather and all, you know, whatever rain, you know, all, just the, the weather conditions, the elements. And see this wire right here? That's the turn signal wire. Clearly the turn signal works because I hooked it up to the capacitor and everything still works, you know, for the vehicle side. But this wire here is something wrong with that wire. It could be having corrosion on the board in there. But uh, when you turn it on, it just you know it it the the parking light goes out and nothing else comes on. 
Yep. So uh, I'm gonna seal this up. I'm gonna put some dynamite on here and seal that up for right now, so it don't get any further damaged. But I'm gonna call the customer and let him know that he need a whole new, whole new uh, marker light, side turn signal light. But other than that, everything is soldered, soldered, and shrink wrap. And the shrink wrap I use is the marine shrink wrap. It's the marine shrink wrap. This stuff has a, I don't know if y'all can see it. It's got a ceiling in there. Yeah, see that real shiny stuff in there? It don't look just just plain flat, flat black in there. It's shiny in there. See that? Yeah, so when you heat that up, yeah, so when you heat that silicone, I mean that, that heat shrink up, the silicone melts onto the wire, which is preventing your wire from getting moisture in it, you know. Yeah, it's mainly for moisture because moisture causes corrosion. And we don't go corrosion out here. I don't want to come back saying this light's not working because of the corrosion. So I use marine heat shrink. Perfect. Works all the time, man. I've been using this stuff for years. Haven't had an issue with it, man. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this side up. I'm going to hop on that past the side and do the same thing. It, it, it look even, look even worse over there, man. So, and what else? After that, I think I got to realign his lights. They, they off a little bit. The guy that put them in, he didn't, he didn't get them straight, you know, 12 o'clock. They're a little bit of, a little bit after 12, <laughs> about two, 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 three seconds after 12. So yeah, we're going to get that straightened up. I'm gonna finish cleaning this up, man. Wire tying it, and like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna seal this hole up with some dynamite. And yeah, we're gonna call the customer, have him come get his car. He was talking about renting a renting a car. It don't take me long to do no diagnosis and clean stuff up, man. So, yep, let me get to it, man. I'll holler at y'all in a second. All right, guys. All right, man. Finished with this one side. Got to do that passion side, man. Every time I look over there, I'll be like, ugh. Got to do it, though. But, yeah, let me show you what it looked like, man. It, it came out real good. Came out real good, man. Look at that. Everything. So neat and so clean. I even had to find find a place to put my wire tie there to hold this because it was just flapping around. Yeah. It was just flapping around. That's fine. It's not going nowhere. But yeah, I sealed that up with my uh my my dynamat. I leave these hanging because these little guys get hot. See that? I put a wire tie on that one. But this hanging is not actually connected to nothing. Cause they yeah, they get hot, man. They'll burn through burn through plastic, your wire, all that. Yep. Cleaned everything up, man. Seal that, seal that board up so it don't get no more moisture in it. Wire tied the harness. Clean that off, dry that off that had water in it. But yeah, other than that, man, we good. All right, y'all see that, right? Y'all seen it when I first started, too, but yeah, that's, that's how I look afterwards. That's how it's supposed to look, man. You know, so we gonna come over here and get on this. Yeah, he got wires all over the place, man. Look at that. Man. Man. These people be getting paid, dude. Just to do a quick 10-minute job, man. It, yeah, it is a 10-minute job when you know what you're doing, but... Yeah, that's horrible, bro. That is horrible, man. So, compared to that over there... Woohoo, I like that. That's real clean. Versus, let me come back down, let me come back down. Versus that, that mess right there. All right, guys, let me go ahead and tan into this too, man, and get them straight. I'm going to give him a call, let him know he need to get a new new turn signal light over there because that one is definitely burnt out. Some water probably got in that one, man. But, yeah, so we're going to get to it, man. All right. Stick around and stay tuned. All right, later. <laughs> All 
All right, guys, I'm on this passenger side. This guy a little, went, went a little bit out of his way to get this side working, man. He was all on the, he was all on the, all on the headlight stuff. This on this side, yeah. Look at that, even cutting to the headlight. And the positive, the positive one, yeah. That that came out. Yeah, I think this is it over here. Yeah, that's supposed to, that's supposed to be in there, man. So I gotta pop this. Yeah, take that little, take that out, and re re get that in there going, so it don't don't have no loose connections. But yeah, man, he went over and beyond to get these lights working, bro. And this is all you just need to do: hook it up, plug it in, man. Plug it in. That's all. Then these right here, those. Those go there. He had these wired over over in here too. But man, like I said earlier, dog, if dude not not <laughs> probably probably need to see his install on his own stuff first before he start touching on your car. But yeah, this is this is amazing. <laughs> this is amazing. So I just had to bring that to y'all. Yeah, that yeah, I can't believe this man, but yeah, it is what it is. I'm I'm finished. I'm I'm getting it right. Getting it right. All right, guys. I holler at y'all in a second. I'll show y'all the finish uh the finish install on both sides when I'm done. They gonna look exactly the like cause this is what I do. All right, guys, let me holler at y'all in a second. Peace. Alright, alright, the time has arrived, guys. Time has arrived, man. I go ahead and cleaned everything up, made sure everything was right. Yep, except for that one, the driver's side, the left side. That turn signal don't work. I'm sorry. But yeah, other than that, man, we good. We gold. See that? Nice, clean, covered up. So no moisture, nothing getting there. Mess that board up. Yep. Nice and clean, man. It don't take all that to put no put no aftermarket lights in, bro. Do not take all that, man. Yep. So now I'm just finna go ahead and center center his lights. Uh, give me a quick second. Let me let me let this hood down. Okay, guys, I am officially done with this Hummer, man. This Hummer that gave me the flux. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. A little poquito. Uh, gave me the flux, man. I realigned, this, realigned the lights. They wasn't up and down like that. They was a little cockeyed a little bit. Just a little bit off. But I went on ahead and lined them up for them, man. Got that in. Those on. Those on. Yeah, so let me power it up. So y'all can see what I did. Oh, oh man. Okay. Oh, yeah, they on already. All right, side markers on. That's on. That's on. That's on. That's on. And that's on. And I had to rewire all this, man. So the side markers, the side markers gonna blink. That's gonna stay white. That's gonna change amber and start blinking. Well, it's over here too, so yeah. That's gonna blink amber. And that's gonna continue to blink red, so yeah. And that's gonna stay white, so. So let me get to it. Let me show y'all. I should do hazard. Yeah, I'm gonna do the hazard so y'all can see everything working. Okay, so now that's blinking. So now, now the halos are amber now. See that? Yep, he even got him in the rear too, man. Yep. 
Yeah. Yeah, guys, so I don't like going behind other people's work, man, but you know, it's 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 easy work. Yeah, it's easy work, guys. Why I'm gonna pass up something easy? So went on here, tight my man Eric up. Took care of him, man. So, yeah, the day is over with now. We're going to go ahead and, and uh, end this video. You know, get y'all get y'all look, look good content today, man. That was some good content. And, uh, yeah, if you if you new to this, this channel, hold on a second. Okay, guys. Yeah, man. I forgot where I was at. I had some customers just pop in on me, man. But yeah, if y'all you new to this channel, go ahead, smash that subscription button, that subscribe button, that like button, and that notification bell, man. It'd be mo mostly appreciated. And uh, but yeah, thank you, thank y'all for tuning in and watching. Please watch the whole video. And uh, like I said, if you're new to this channel. Go back and watch my old videos too so you can get a little bit about knowing about me, man. So, yep, I do a little bit of everything. Ain't too much I don't say no to. Uh, but some shrimp and shellfish, man. So, <laughs> so yeah, man. Uh, and on that note, we gonna, I'm going to end this video. And, uh, yeah, we're going gonna, gonna, gonna to get to it tomorrow. Uh, so it's going to be a whole different day. New project tomorrow. Alright guys. Mahalo tell man. Y'all stay safe and be blessed. Alright, peace.